Corey Ackley, Hammers to Performance. Good morning, y'all. Hope y'all, the all those, uh, had a wonderful Veterans Day from my brothers and sisters that served. What's the best camshaft for our victories? Hmm. What is the best camshaft for victories? Oh, I don't know. But what we, we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about and we're going to compare the 501 DR cams, the 505 LSC cams, and the Andrews V472s. And how we're going to do that is going to be a little bit different. What we've basically done is I've taken data um, and compiled to build trends. So I think we've compared three LSC cams. I haven't installed a lot of the cams in there. Maybe in the dinographs you'll see why. Or maybe you'll have some insights into why. I um, think we had uh, four or five Lloyd's 501 DR cams. And then I think we had four of the V72 cams. These are all in cross-country uh, framed bikes. Different exhaust systems, various exhaust systems. There was a couple of them that had the uh, tri-ovals and stuff like that. But really, we're just looking at trends. And what we'll see is... These are all different bikes, but when you start overlaying the results, you can start seeing trends. And trends are even more valuable than single data points. Now, with that being said, also in my own uh, cross country, and I'll share uh, a graph that has the uh, 413s, the 501s, and the 472s, how they compare to on my bike. Each one of those camshafts run through my bike with the same exhaust. So with that being said, um, I don't know if I'm going to answer which is the best camshaft, but we're certainly going to let you guys make uh, informed decisions. All right. Thank you. All right. So this is a re reduped uh, version. So I approved this video way back when it was one of my very first videos I made. I compared these camshafts. So we're revisiting this, camp, uh, this comparison. So this is my 2014 Victory Cross Country. You see the build there in a the collar box, uh, fairly standard, couple couple things unique to it. Uh, but bottom line is, this is a comparison between the Andrews 413s, the Lloyd 501 DR cams, and the Andrews V472s. Again, following up to the discussion we had about um, whether, you're, whether you're running the 472 camshafts or you're running the HPT camshafts or you're running the uh, 495 camshafts, all of those require a level of effort or work, right? The 472s require you to measure valve uh, spring and stall height if you want to run them with minimum effort. Um, the HPTs and the 495s require you to um, modify the cam carriers and exhaust rock arms, at, at least on the rear cylinder, sometimes both. So as we know, the 472s and the HPTs and the 495s require um, a level of effort and resources to run them. Is it possible to run the 472 camshafts without uh, doing valve springs and make them a drop-in camshaft? It is possible, but again, as we talked about yesterday, you've got to measure the valve spring installed height. So with that being said, here we go. Here's a comparison. Um, of the three camshafts, we're going to drop right down in here into torque. So right now we're looking at it for about about 2,300 RPMs to 4,200 RPMs. Then we see that the Andrews 413s make a lot of bottom end. Great cam choice for um, you know those visions, those cross countries, those uh, bikes that uh, do a lot of two up riding. They may haul a trailer. Really good uh, bottom end power. And we see the the uh, DR cams and the 472 cams trade back and forth, but ultimately we see that the DR cams make the most mid-range. We look at that from somewhere below 3,000 RPMs all the way up past 4,200 RPMs. So we see the difference in there. And then if we go to the top end of the scale, we are now looking at from 4,500 RPMs to, uh, you know, 6,000 uh, or so. RPM. Then on, on this particular one, you know, my rev limit has been extended, was extended to uh, 6,400, 6,500. So that's why we see these, uh, uh, these are uh, these uh, graphs extended further than you would on, on most uh, cross countries um, these days. So that being said, the Andrews 472s make the most 
the peak horsepower the Lloyd's DRs make the middle and the Andrews make the uh, the bottom end of the horsepower range but again this is just a single data point comparing these three camshafts on a single bike not the same day because I ran each one of these camshafts for uh, several thousand miles um, but that's the results now what we're going to do is, is let's look talk about trends man this is a busy slide right the green represents the 505 LSC cams the red represents the DR501 cams and the blue represents the Andrews V472 camshafts All right and so if you look at that we have four sets of and maybe five sets of DR cams and four sets of 472 cams and three sets of the 505 cams and these are all different bikes they're all different cross countries um, different exhaust there was everything from atom bombs to uh, tri ovals and uh, Miller exhaust so there was some different exhausts uh, in there but they were all of similar um, design and so what we're going to say here in in the trends is generally speaking if we look at where the green lays on a scale we see that the 505s generally make the least amount of torque and if we look to the far right hand side of scale we see the green at the bottom there we'll, we'll zoom into that in a minute they make the least horsepower that's generally speaking now these could be three one-off bikes that were um that that uh weren't there but the trends will tell us that hey that's sort of where the 505 camshafts fall the dr 501s again if we look at them the red they're right there across the middle um and uh doing well and then if we look um at the blue we see the blue even in the torque range um when we start comparing between 3000 and 4500 the blue has one line right there's one four seven twos that's slightly above the other ones but the rest of them will all sit there if we look at this area right in here right this is a mick bag donuts right they're all red and blue intermixed one outlier here and then we also we could say we have an outlier in a red down here so that's just part of the trends let's look at uh horsepower all right we come up to horsepower right green down bottom um red in the middle and as we see we got a couple of the blues up top so once again um the trend would say the 472s might make a little bit more um peak horsepower than the dr cams and then we'll do a little further zoom in here so now we're looking from 4000 to uh, 5800 um and once again the trends are similar right we have generally speaking the blue is in the upper half of the horsepower the reds in the middle and the greens down below so but if you notice they're they're pretty close so we might see here if we went from peak to peaks we're about 118 horsepower there and about a hundred and oh 112 113 um generally speaking you know we're if we look right here to far in the scale right we got a couple blues right in here we've got um some reds so basically what I'm saying is that the, it's pretty close. So when you start thinking about from a what camshafts could I run, get a lot of discussion about the 472s. Ah, the 472s, can I run them? Yeah, yes. And we had a conversation regarding what it takes to run the 472s. Checking valves for the installed height and so on and so forth. The DR can just drop in and they make really good power. It, doesn't require any thinking right doesn't require any thinking you can drop them in there and that's why the 501s are such a great sellers and you know maybe again particularly these three bikes these three builds using the 505 cams maybe they were just uh maybe they're just one-offs maybe these three bikes are outliers but generally speaking the 501s make the least amount of torque and the least amount of horsepower at least in this comparison and these set of trends so did we answer which question uh, which is the best camshaft we certainly did what we did say though that the 501s are really the do-all camshafts 
that require the least amount of effort to install and make decent power. All right, let's close let's close the loop on this thing. Hope that uh provides some clarity. So I think that you know there's a good reason why the DR 501s are always sold out. Uh, they're a phenomenal do-all camshaft. They work really well. Um, you know, whatever, I think they retail 540 now is what those uh, retail for. Um, it's uh, the same price with, I think, all the camshafts are in that 540 range. Of, whether it's the 495s, the 505s, the 504s, 501s. The Andrews uh, 413s, I think those are in the, the 450, 440 ballpark. Uh, maybe off by that a little bit. Maybe it's 470. Um, I have to go. I, I go look at my dealer cost on, on those, and then the V four seventy twos are even more. Right, those are six six oh eight. Um, those camshafts cost uh, because of the additional cost of the eight lash caps that's required. Again, this video feeds the other one. So, when that being said, right, is that. The 505s, and I'm not, and I'm not, the 505s are phenomenal all around camshaft with very little thought. The 472s, generally speaking, make more power, but they cost more. There's more uh, resources to check. So if we were to average uh, the power on the 472s, we're talking peak power. The 472s versus the DRs, we'd probably see there's about three to four horsepower uh, in there. And I got it. every horsepower makes uh, mean something. But generally speaking, you look at the trends, about probably three or four horsepower. Is that worth the uh, $70 or $80 more? Is that worth the uh, required um, additional labor to, to see if you can even run those camshafts, right? You know, all those things are factors. Um, they go in there, and, and then the 505s are where they go. And so with that being said, they all, uh, that should allow you all to make uh, good informed decisions when you talk about what camshaft should I run. That's all we're trying to do here is make you better armed uh, to make good decisions. But once again, I always say is don't, you know, don't base this on, hey, Corey said this, and so this is, what I'm going to, I'm going to do this because that's what Corey's saying. No, Corey's saying, you know, that when it comes to a great all around camshaft, the DRs are, are, are good to go. And is it possible um, that you go through the extra effort and with the 472s and not make any more power? It is possible. But it is also possible that you could make more power. It's also possible that you go with the 505s and make as much power as you with the 501s. The trends would say they won't, though. All right. Y'all appreciate it. Thanks a lot. Remember, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, comment, comment.